What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a faded blur transition in Premiere Pro. So as you can see we have two clips here and this is how you need to lay yours out as well so they're right next to each other and simply zoom in in between them. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is creating the fade and to do that we're going to come over to our project, right click, select new item and select black video and make sure this matches your video settings and select OK. Now drag and drop this above your video. Now by default this is going to be 5 seconds. Now that's pretty long for a transition, of course you might not want it that long. So simply trim it down to how long you want this transition to be. Now for me I'm going to go 1 second, so this clip is now 1 second. So as you can see I've centered the video, if I come to the left that's 15, sec well, 15 frames, if I come to the right that is also 15 frames. So we can't see our video at this point. What we're going to be doing, select your black video, come up to effect control, come to opacity and toggle the animation and lay down a keyframe by pressing this button. From there, move the cursor to the start, turn it all the way to zero, move the cursor to the end and turn it all the way to zero. So if I play this through, we just created the fade like that, really simple. So next is creating the blur and to do this you're going to right click under project, new item and adjustment layer. Make sure this matches your video again and select OK. Drag and drop this above your video, simply press C on your keyboard and trim it where the black video ends and then press V and delete the remaining up here. So for this blur we're going to come to effects, we're going to come over to video effects, we're going to come to blur and sharpen and we're going to use Gaussian blur. You can experiment with the other blurs, but Gaussian, I believe, works the best. So I'm going to drag and drop this onto the adjustment layer, and I'm going to bring the blurriness all the way up to the max. I'm also going to check repeat edge pixels. Now, if I come back, you can see the video is going to be blurred, but if I play it, it's just going to be a sharp blur like that. So we're going to animate this as well. Come to the center and toggle the animation on blurriness, then drag the cursor to the beginning, turn it to zero, drag the cursor to the end, and turn the blurriness to zero. So as you can see, if I just go across it slowly, it's going to blur and also fade into the new clip like that. Really simple to do, and it's also really quick. <laughs> 